Since moving to Charleston in 2020, our guest has been inspired by the region's beauty and history, transforming her observations into intricate art using just paper and an X-Acto knife. The Coastal Community Foundation is proud to announce Jennifer York as the 2024 Low Country Artist of the Year, and we are happy to have Jennifer joining us today. Jennifer, welcome to the show and congratulations. Thank you for having me. This is very exciting. So can you speak more to your medium? It's a very unique art form that you use. Yeah, I, um, I'm a runner and also a cyclist, so I'm out exploring uh, the low country almost every day. And uh, when I'm not running, I usually have my sketchbook with me. I'll go back and revisit areas I've been mm -hmm. to draw and then take that back to my studio and uh, cut paper, uh, which evolved from cutting stencils for fabric. Okay, so how long did you work with making clothes? I uh, founded Jenny Threads in Asheville, North Carolina in 2003 and uh, did that full time until year before last where I uh, decided to close up shop and move on. Um, I'd have enough sewing and really wanted to get back to fine art, which I've, uh, I've drawn ever since I was little. Okay, so this is something that you've always dabbled with, but you just didn't do it full time. Yeah, I've, I've done fine art on the side, uh, but made a living with the clothing. Mm -hmm. So what made you take that jump? Well, thankfully, I, I worked hard and saved up and paid off my house and could have more freedom to, you know, not have to do that work as much. Mm -hmm. And um, I still do other things on the side or to make a living, but less so. Yeah. Yeah, just took some of that pressure off. Mm -hmm. um, I had uh, traveled to a few countries in 2018 and 2019 doing art residencies in Bulgaria, Finland, Greece, Mexico, uh, for several weeks at a time drawing and creating art. And then uh, when I moved here in 2020, uh, the following year I was a visiting artist at the Gibbs Museum where I could treat that as a residency in my own town mm -hmm. and just really uh, take in the low country. I actually, I um, live near Folly Beach, but leave uh, my put my car in my bike, my bike in my car, go park on the battery, and then ride my bike around downtown. Wow. If I'm gonna go downtown, that's mm -hmm. how I explore. Mm -hmm. so, so taking in all these uh, different, different things I see, and I put them together in new stories, new arrangements, kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now speaking of the Gibbs, this piece mm -hmm. was on display at the Gibbs, correct? I created it while I was at the Gibbs, mm -hmm. actually on site in the studio. But I, I, um, the women in the pages are from the Gibbs permanent collection, from paintings in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, uh, the uh, skulls, the sort of angelic skulls here mm. are from the uh, cemetery of the circular church right across the street. Wow. So just exploring downtown and bringing it together in a new way. Mm -hmm. And um, this form's called a carousel book because it folds up completely, but then goes fully in the round. Wow. And I've loved pop-up books for a long time. Mm -hmm. And my work has mm -hmm. evolved from the small books into big wall size paper cuts and Tyvek, which opens up to nine, 10, 12 feet. Wow. Which is fun. Can you speak to what this is? Yeah, this is one of my sketchbooks. I, like I mentioned, I always am drawing. And this, I uh, visited the Charlestown Landing and uh, sketched these uh, ships from, I believe it was, uh, it was early uh, colonial era illustrations on exhibit at Charlestown Landing that I drew and then work those into larger pieces. Yeah. Yeah. And so you absolutely incorporate the Lowcountry in your work and how did it feel to receive the recognition as the Lowcountry Artist mm -hmm. of the Year? It was, I mean, absolutely thrilling. Yeah. Um, I've been here four years and really uh, made a switch from, from sewing to, to fine art and it, it just felt like great encouraging like a atta girl mm -hmm. keep going and uh and you know i kind of feel like a uh a, 
I can wear a sash or something. <laughs> a or crown. I can, a crown. I can hold this title for yeah. the year. And um, I'm really honored to get it. And, and it, it, it's been a, a great source of encouragement to keep going mm -hmm. and create, keep making good, strong work. Yeah, well deserved to say the least. Thank and you. now, Jennifer, where can we find your work? And also, where can we keep up with you? You have a website or? Yeah, um, I'm on Instagram at Jennifer York Art. My website is jennifer-york.com, and I do have a solo show up right now uh, on Isle of Palms at the Wild Dunes Resort. I am represented by the gallery at Sweetgrass, and uh, my solo show, Constructed Realities, of about 15 of my larger works are on display at the Sweetgrass Inn there uh, in Wild Dunes on Isle of Palms, and that show is up uh, through summer. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us, and we need to get you a sash. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'll practice my wave. Yes, my Miss America wave. We're back in two minutes. <laughs>